Now let's discuss the specific technique of suctioning through an endotracheal tube. Observe BSI precautions during this procedure. Explain the procedure to the conscious patient. Position the patient in a supine position. Check and assemble the equipment. Pre-oxygenate the patient. In the case of pulmonary edema, your partner should hyperventilate the patient prior to suctioning. However, for most cases, if the patient has debris or vomitus in the ET tube, then just suction directly and do not bag the debris down the tube into the lungs. Approximate the length of the catheter to be inserted by measuring the distance from the center of the patient's lips to the ear and down to the nipple line. This is about to the level of the carina. Keep the catheter sterile during measurement. Using the sterile gloved dominant hand, place the soft catheter into the ET tube without applying suction. Advance the catheter slowly down the ET tube until it reaches the desired location. Next, place your non-dominant thumb over the hard plastic hole at the proximal end of the catheter and apply suction. Slowly withdraw the catheter using a twisting motion. Clean the catheter in sterile water to remove debris and or fluids. When setting down the catheter, make sure you put it in a sterile environment if it is to be used again. Hyperventilate the patient and repeat the procedure if necessary. 